hey guys what's up welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to talk about thunder client so thunder client is basically a lightweight http client extension for vs code so it's basically used for testing apis and you can use it as the alternative for postman or insomnia so let me quickly go to vs code and show you how to use thunder client so just go to the extension here and source for thunder client so just source for thunder client so this is what the thunder client is and just click on install so this will basically install the thunder client so you can see here this will open the thunder client so i've got one application uh, to show you the demonstration how it works so this is basically a crawl application so let me run this and this will start in port 8080 so let's wait for it to run yeah so the our application has been started now let me quickly go to the thunder client and here you just need to click on new request so this will open the uh, new request here and if i have to type http and okay let's directly type localhost 8080 slash departments and if I had to post some data and I just need to go to the body and I will be sending in JSON format and if I just click send so this will so some message here so this is the validation I have done in backend so if I post some data like depart main name let me call it IT and this will be enough for me to post some data okay let me click on send and this will show the data has been posted you can see here department id department name address and code so this has posted the data okay let me post another as well so let me call it department address and let's give some address like Kathmandu. and I also need to give some code so let me give code as well so I will give code something like one two three and if I send the data so this will send the data three and you can see here this shows the status size time and you are, you will pretty much get all the features you get in postman or insomnia and if I had to get some data okay let me quickly go to the gate and just click on send so this will show all the data I have just posted and you can similarly do all the operation HTTP methods you can use to uh, do your tasks. So this is how you use Thunder Client in VS Code. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.